Hi there, welcome to Tech Center. This is Joshua and I'm going to introduce you to creating an image in Microsoft Paint. If you want to watch a full tutorial on Microsoft Paint, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Before we jump into the video, please subscribe and click the notification bell to receive future videos from my channel. If you haven't already watched my previous video about Convertio, I've put a link in the description box below so you can watch the video. Now I'm going to introduce you to creating an image in Microsoft Paint. First of all, I'm going to open Microsoft Paint from the Windows Programs list. Click Start, Windows Accessories, and then Paint. Now that Microsoft Paint is open, I'm going to start drawing some shapes. I'm going to click on the Brushes tool. Now I'm going to click on Color 1. Now I'm going to select my pen colour as black. Now I'm going to start drawing a few shapes. Now I'm going to change the colour of the brush. I'm going to go to the colour palette. I'm going to click on red. And I'm going to draw a few other shapes. Now I'm going to change the colour of the brushes again. But this time I'm going to create my own custom colour. To do that, I need to click on colour 1 to select the colour of the brush, because colour 1 is the primary colour. Now I'm going to click on Edit Colours. This will open a colour picker. I'm going to click on one of the basic colours. I'm going to click on this blue over here. And I'm going to decrease the intensity of the colour. Now I'm going to click on OK. Now if I left click and drag to draw, you'll see that the colour is applied. Now I'm going to add some text with the text tool. Here is the text tool. I'm going to click on it. I'm going to create a text box over here by left clicking and dragging. I'm going to make the background of the text box opaque. So this will make the background colour of the text box visible. Currently it's white because colour 2 is white. If you want to change the colour of it, click on colour 2. And then click on one of these colours from the colour palette. I'm going to choose gold. I'm going to click back inside the text box. Now I'm going to type, Welcome to Tech Center. Now I'm going to select the text by clicking and dragging on it. And then I'm going to go to Color 1. Now I'm going to change the color of the text. So I'm going to choose Red. Now I'm going to click on the text to deselect it. You can see that the text is red. Now if I select it again by left clicking and dragging, I'm going to right click on the text and I'm going to click on copy. Now I'm going to click on the text to deselect it. I'm going to press enter to make a new line and I'm going to right click now I'm going to click on paste. You can see that a copy of the text has been copied to the line below. Now if I select the copied text and I choose a colour for it, I'm going to change it to black. Now if I click on the text to deselect it, you can see that it is black. If I want to make the text bold, I have to click and drag to select it. Then I can click on the bold tool. And if I want to make it underlined, I can click on the underline tool. If I want to make the text italics, I have to click on the italics tool. And if you want strike through on your text, then you can click on the strike through tool. 
So what strike through does is it puts a strike through your text. I'm going to click on strike through. Then I'm going to click on the text to deselect it. You can see that the text is in bold, italics, underlined, and it has a strike through it. Now if I don't want the strike through, I can left click and drag to select the text. And I can click on strike through tool again. You can see if I click on the text again to deselect it, it is no longer striked. Now I'm going to remove the bold, italics and underline property for the text below. So I'm going to left click and drag on it to select it. Now I'm going to click on bold to unbold it. If I click on italics, it's no longer going to be italics. If I click on underline, the text is not going to be underlined anymore. Now if I click on the text to deselect it, you can see that the text is no longer italics, underline or bold. Each time we click on bold, italics, underline or strike through, it toggles between on and off. Now I'm going to click outside of the text box to escape the text tool. And I'm going to create a text box over here by left clicking and dragging. Here you can see my text box. Currently the background is opaque. This time I'm going to make it transparent. When transparent is selected, there is no background visible. I'm going to type have a nice day in the text box. I'm going to left click and drag to select it. And if I right click and click on copy, and I click on the text to deselect it. I press enter to create a new line. I'm going to right click and then I'm going to click on paste. You can see that a copy of the text has been pasted on the line below. Now I'm going to select the line above by left clicking and dragging. Now I'm going to underline it with the underline tool. I'm going to click on it. And if I click on the text to deselect it, you can see that the text on the top line is underlined. Now if you want to remove it, you have to left click and drag to select it and then you have to click on the underline tool again. You can do the same with bold, italics and strike through. I'm going to click on the text. You can see that the text is no longer underlined. Now I'm going to click outside the text box to escape the text tool. I'm going to save this file by going to the file menu and then save. I'm going to go to this PC. I'm going to save it in my documents. I'm going to double click on it to open it. And I'm going to name it shapes and text. I'm going to click on save. Now the file is saved, I'm going to open a new canvas by going to file menu and then clicking on new. You can see that there is a new blank canvas. Now I'm going to use the rectangle tool, I'm going to click on it, I'm going to move to the middle of the canvas and I'm going to left click and drag to make a rectangle. I'm going to change the shape of it so it's a square. If I want to I can edit its shape by using these grip points. I have to left click and drag. Now I'm going to escape the rectangle tool by clicking somewhere else on the screen. I'm going to click on more shapes which is this down arrow with a line on top of it and I'm going to select this triangle. I'm 
going to left click and drag to draw the triangle. I'm going to move the triangle right on top of the square. Again, I can adjust the shape of this triangle with the grip points. I'm going to use this grip point. Once you're satisfied with the shape, click outside the shape to deselect it. Now I'm going to add some more rectangles. I'm going to click on the rectangle tool again. I'm going to left click and drag to make a door over here. I'm going to adjust its shape by using its grip points. I'm going to click outside the rectangle to deselect it. I'm going to put another square in these three spots. I'm going to draw one here. I'm going to deselect it by clicking outside the rectangle. I'm going to left click and drag to make one over here. I'm going to click outside the square to deselect it. And I'm going to make one over here. I'm going to deselect it by left clicking somewhere else on the canvas. Now I'm going to click on the oval tool. Then I'm going to draw a circle by left clicking and dragging. So over here. Now I'm going to click outside of the circle to deselect it. But if I want to, I can resize the shape by using these grip points. I'm going to click outside the shape to deselect it. Now I'm going to use the fill tool to fill the sun with yellow. I'm going to click on the fill tool, which is over here. I'm going to make color 1, a yellowish color. Now if I give the roof a reddish color, Now let me change the colour of the roof to brown. I'm going to click on brown. And I'm going to fill this by left clicking on it. You can see that the roof is now brown. I'm going to make colour 1 blue. I'm going to make it light blue. Now I'm going to fill in the door. Now the door is light blue. Let me change the colour of the door. I'm going to change colour 1 to light green. Then I'm going to fill in the door. Now the door is green. Now I'm going to switch color 1 back to light blue. And I'm going to fill in the windows. Now I'm going to save this file. File menu. Save. I'm going to go to this PC. Now I'm going to double click on documents to open it. I'm going to name this file sample file hyphen house. I'm going to click on save. Now that I've created this image, I'm going to close Microsoft Paint. In my future videos, I'll be posting basic tutorials on Paint 3D and then games. I hope that this video was helpful for you. If you like this video, please smash that like button and share it to your friends and family. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click the red subscribe button below. If you have any questions or comments about this video, or if you'd like to get links to all of my previous videos, please contact me via email at fulltextcenter at gmail.com. I've put a link in the description box below. See you in the next video!